I'm here with Bazaar TV. My name is Angelica Hicks and it's called Fashion. We are on our way to the Gucci hub for the Gucci show. Ah, I forgot to RSVP. From the show, I am expecting... I have no idea what to expect. I don't know, like putting clothes on. So I guess maybe the models are going to be getting dressed on the run. I don't know, I don't know. See you shortly after the break. Here I am with my friend Brian. Hey guys, hey Harper's Bazaar. So what are you expecting from hashtag Gucci the ritual? Oh my gosh, I mean I really have no expectation. It's something that you constantly do and it's something that's part of your life. I'm here with Willie. Hi, hi Bazaar. What are you going to be expecting from Gucci hashtag the ritual? I uh, would expect something that's new interesting and as always something that's a bit challenging like to some extent because i like the way he reworks history Too. So I saw that you are the face of the new filter done by Gucci uh, yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> it's a really cool filter. Yeah. What did you think about it the first time you saw it? Uh, I love it because uh, it's like, you know, uh, first it's very fun because you have two cameras. Like wait, you princess. can use both of them? What? You yes, can use, you can both, use both, both the camera. Okay, wait, I need to find this. <laughs> um, I, need, I really need to find this. So how do you, how do you use the other one? Oh, okay. Go, okay. So we've got this go. one. Now you the first look one. like a princess. Yeah. And, and then, then you have mm -hmm. the other one. How do we do? Oh! Ah. Oh my god! Yes! Okay! That was really cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye. So I'm here with Stella. Hi. Say hey. Hi, I'm Stella. Nice to meet you. When I've been asking you know what makes them feel most Gucci-fied, whenever I really feel like myself, I think that's when I feel very Gucci-fied, and um, that's what happens when I'm around anyone working with or from Gucci, because yeah. they're very familiar, very loving, and open-minded, and I get reminded actually to be more, I mean, I don't think I'm not open-minded, but I get reminded of my inner liberalness when I'm around Gucci. Yeah, because it does make you feel more creatively free, and also just free in general. Yeah. Hello, I am here with Ignasi. What do you remember from our first meeting? He showed me Rosalia. That was Gigi Hadid in the hotel bar. There were about five of us in the hotel bar. Gigi Hadid was one of them. We turned around, we were like, what do you think he's about? That's cool and weird. That's we are. Exactly, just as we are. Here I am with... Hamish Bowles from American Vogue talking to Bazaar. <laughs> How did you find walking through backstage to get to the front of stage? I love it. Reminds me of my Martin student days when I pretended to be a makeup artist assistant and sneaked in through the tents to get to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.
London at Westminster Abbey. It was not really acceptable to be fashionably late <laughs> that time, but that's where my half Italian side comes through. And I just, I think I took the tube and then I got lost. And so I just got distracted by some fashionable people walking down the street. <laughs> so it turned out to be not that fashionable. Hi, I'm with Alan, editor in chief of. What do you think about this novel format for viewing a fashion show where it was almost deconstructed? It was deconstructed. It was fun to see the people actually working at Gucci there. I mean, I think it was pretty emotional for them. Probably. Giving faces beyond the face of the brand. Alessandro really, really give it, paying respect to everyone who makes Gucci possible. And fun. That curtain drop moment that always happens. Always. And smoke, you know. Yeah. The mystery. But it was smoke fun. and mirrors, but then it's all revealed, and then the smoke fades and the windows are clear. Where are you off to now? Well, now we're going to Alberta Ferretti, and then many shows, and tonight we have our party, which is very, very exciting. So see you tonight! I'm Angelica Hicks, and it's called Fashion. We're pausing live for Lady Pisa with Bizarre TV. Well, I love the party, but I haven't got anything to drink here. I'm just very happy to be here. I don't even need to drink. I'm a happy guy. And now I'm gonna pass out on the couch. Milan is a wonderful city that I am just getting to know. Il Castello di Milano. It's the castle. Reporting live from Fendi. Uh, I'd like to ask you, what would you put in this bag? Oh, that's adorable. Um, you know what? It would probably be great for when I walk my dogs. You know, those little plastic That's bags. actually a genius idea. Yeah. I have a dog too. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Thank you. Here I am with Patrick Kidmont at the Bundy Show. So, what do you guys think about my bag? Um, it looks very small. Too big. Yeah. Kareem yes. Rothfeld said, what a woman needs a handbag for is three things. Cigarette, keys, condom. <laughs> I don't know if you can like... It's also the, uh, CKC. Say hi, Bazaar, Italy. Hi, hi, let's Italy. Hi, we're here with... Luca Guadagnino. What would you put in here? Uh, maybe a condom. That's the second time I've been told that today. I love that. <laughs> or some money. Money. Yeah. yeah. You can the essentials. The problem you cannot put a credit card. Yeah, that is the problem. Very nice. That is the problem. And I like your phone. Oh, this one. Yeah, it's very cool. It's it reminds me of the phone, phone I used it's to a have. Phone against uh, being connected. And yeah. No, it's really. It seems like a smart idea. Yeah. Texting takes a little bit longer as well, though. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much and enjoy the show. I'm here with Tommy Dorfman. And what are you most looking forward to about today's show? I mean, I'm just really excited because I've never seen the showroom this way. It's they've cool, isn't it? Yeah, they've completely transformed it. It looks really cozy. I went backstage, so I got a little preview of the look. I love your eyeshadow. I will say, really nice headbands. Thank oh, you. Really? Thank you. Kelly it's Kennedy, really, my makeup really artist, amazing. is really gifted. I guess I can, I don't know, sense the future. And, and can I ask you one more question? Yeah, sure. What would you put in this bag? AirPods. I say that because I have this bag. Well, I, I and, don't, you, and you actually use it? Not a brown version. AirPods? I have a yellow version, but I use it for AirPods. Okay, this is the most interesting answer yet. Everyone else said condom. <laughs> Bye. I'm here with... Larson Thompson. Very, very excited for this. I always get so excited for the new collection. What do you have in your bag? Most particularly the small. Okay, so I have lots in here: phone, lip gloss, cash, all of the above. This one I don't have anything in it because. No, 
Oh my gosh, we're me neither. matching. Me neither. This we are matching. Look at that. Sorry, please. Okay. Okay. The show is starting. Hi, Gabriella Kriva Johnson, fashion director of Garage Magazine. And what did you think of the show now that it's over? Brilliant. So modern, so much cooler than anything I've ever seen ever, and I want to wear everything. And leather is the moment. Yeah. I echo those sentiments, not that anyone asked me. And here we are at the Duomo. So if you do have a moment between shows, do come and soak in some culture. That's what I'm doing. Marvelous, isn't it? We'll be back in just a few. Well, we were supposed to go to the Armani show today, which has now been closed off from the public due to the impending doom of the coronavirus so we will actually be watching this from my friend's apartment on my computer three two one no <laughs> right, possible. preferred the experience live? Probably. <laughs> Milan Fashion Week. It's been fun. And actually that was the question that I was going to ask all of the people at the Armani show. What did you do last night? And now unfortunately it's time for me to leave Milan. But Milan, it's been real. I'm Angelica Hicks and it's called Fashion.